Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence of true Nigerian royalty. Or obnoxious royalty. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the classic professional intercontinental championship. Introducing the challenger from Bidway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Byron, for my money, the only thing more impressive than the physique of Apollo Crews is his ability inside the ring. Without question, for years we talked about the potential of Apollo Crews, but now Crews realizing that potential here in WWE. And the change in attitude has earned him both the Intercontinental and United States Championships. Guess what time it is? Oh no. Saxon, was that your alarm clock? This guy freaks me out. From the bottomless pit, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Guys, to me, the scariest thing about Boogeyman is what we're seeing are not mind games. This is simply Boogeyman being himself. Well, you're actually right, Corey, and being himself has earned the Boogeyman wins over Hall of Famers like JBL and Booker T. Pure nightmare fuel. Do they sell worms at those health food stores you go to? Absolutely not. The dead man has arrived. The masked demon out to claim souls. Who? will rest in peace tonight. You can crush his skull, but you cannot extinguish the spirit of The Undertaker. Yeah, think about when The Undertaker first appeared on the scene in WWE, right, defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWE Championship within a year of his debut, and has just grown even more dominant ever since. Every time he competes, a chill overtakes the arena. A truly terrifying sight for any competitor. Known to have a 
good time, but now he has a serious side. And it's that serious side that Big E's opponents need to worry about. One of the strongest human beings walking the planet Earth. A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion and a top single star in WWE. Mustafa Ali promises you will not forget his name. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. A man who has become virtually obsessed with not allowing himself to be mislabeled anymore. You know, Mustafa Ali may be moments away from it, extracting his retribution. Major chip on his shoulder. Cannot understand why people will not follow his ways. Ali may be abrasive, but one of the most highly intelligent competitors in all of WWE. Well, here is the COO of WWE, the leader of NXT, and one of the very best of all time. The game is here. WWE Universe, we are about to see what's best for business. And without question, the game is taking business into his own hands here tonight. From Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. He spent his entire career accumulating power. Like a master chess player from DX to Evolution to the Authority, now behind the scenes in WWE and NXT. Triple H looks at every match as a threat to his power. And that's what keeps his motivation so strong. That's why you don't step to the throne of the King of Kings. the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown here tonight. Trending on social media, the challenger knows he has a good chance of becoming champion tonight.
introducing the champion, representing the Knights of the Round Table from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 170 pounds. He is the classic professional intercontinental champion, the Urban Gladiator, Val McKay. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. The pressures of being champion are very real, but this guy is ready for it. The ring is almost overflowing with superstars in this eight-pack match. So many superstars, but only one will win. It's for all competitors involved, but each shoulder's down. He gets the shoulder off. He's got the shoulders down. He goes for the quick pin. And that's up the pinfall. It's a little too early in this match to go for the pin. It's a little too early in this match. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? This one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on the ball. Tracking the opposition. He's got him down. Is this it? Still has enough energy for the super kick out. The frustration might be starting to set in.
something stopped him. Kick gets caught. champion they both yeah. the 
Look at that. with a waistlock takedown. This is gonna be bad. It's the sudden stop at the end. Those last hits rattled the champ. I was pumped when I saw this match on tonight's card, but so far this Falls Count Anywhere match has exceeded all of my expectations. Stop in the leg. A projectile now taking this to the floor. Great reversal. Good knees right to the spine. He's in under the ropes. Taking this one back to the ring now. He's running into some problems here, guys. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming at him. Oh, my! Inflicting pain at will. Counters! He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. He's talking him, watching for an opening. One arm hooked. The champ will stay champ. of the WWE is one of the best ever. like this. Accomplishment, relief, a little bit of column A and column B, Saxton. Elimination matches are no joke.